Longtime Bemidji State head football coach Jeff Tesh has been fired as coach of the Beavers. Tesh was notified today of his termination by university administration. This comes after Tesh was placed on paid administrative leave on August 30th, two days before the team's first game. The school said a complaint about Tesh was being investigated, but declined to release any more details. Now, more than two months later, Tesh has been relieved of his duties. This past Saturday, prior to finding out about his termination, Tesh spoke with Lakeland News reporter Mel Meyer and told us the situation revolved around his use of a racial slur. Speaking outside of his Bemidji home, former BSU head football coach Jeff Tesh talks about what led up to his sudden leave of absence. All of a sudden the warm-up music was put on and all of a sudden I thought I heard some inappropriate words. Tesh says he has never said these words before. He says he subconsciously repeated back the words when disciplining the team. I yelled to everybody, shut the music off. We don't play F this, F that, and then and this and that. And I said the two N words. After that, he says the team turned off the music, but during practice, a player told him he was ready to leave because of it. The player said, no, coach, you don't get it. You can't say that word. And I went, I was just repeating the words to the song. He says the team held a meeting about it after practice, but later heard rumors that a player-only meeting would be held the next day. The players held their meeting and he joined in afterwards. He asked to impose self-corrective action, such as diversity courses or a one-game suspension. And that's when the team made the comment that coach were you know, if you're the head coach, we're not going to play. A few hours later, he was told he was placed on administrative leave. The school announced that Brent Bolte, an assistant head coach and defensive coordinator, would be stepping in. He had hoped that the community could come together to heal and learn why his actions were wrong. I look at this as one of those rare educational moments. In Bemidji, I'm Al Meyer, Lakeland News. Officials from the Bemidji State University Faculty Association say they will be filing a grievance on behalf of Coach Tesh challenging the termination. Despite the BSU's administrative action, the restorative healing process sponsored by the BSU Faculty Association and Interfaculty Organization will move forward as planned with the first event being held November 16th on campus. Efforts to reach BSU officials today were not successful. Coach Tesh released a statement in reaction to the news today. In it, he thanked the community, assistant coaches, training staff, field crews, and all that put forth so much effort into making Bemidji State football the top quality program it is. He also asked the community to respect his family and the young men of the BSU football program during this difficult time. Well, sports director Justin Prince joins us now to talk more about Jeff Tesh's career at Bemidji State. Justin, a Tesh coach 20 years at BSU. That's a long time in today's day and age. And during his time with the Beavers, Tesh really helped turn around a program that had been struggling at that point. Yeah, that's correct, Dennis. In the two decades as head coach, Tesh really turned the program around from an annual doormat to NSIC champions. He was the 15th head coach in program history, compiling a program record 126 wins during his time as field general of the Beavers. Before he took over, BSU had won nine games in the six previous years. Under Tesh, the Beavers won one NSIC title in 2006, an NSIC North title in 2012, and then a share of the NSIC North in 2015. His 06 Beavers won a perfect 8-0, establishing a school single-season record for conference wins with just the sixth undefeated season in NSIC history. During his tenure, he was named the NSIC Coach of the Year in 1998 and 2006. He tallied 15 winning seasons as well as six eight-win seasons. He coached 66 first-team All-NSIC players and 12 All-America selections as well. And he was also the fastest BSU head coach to 30 wins and is set the match matching school records of nine wins in 2000 and 2006. All right. Well, thank you very much, Justin. Reaction from former players is starting to trickle in. Brad Borkhaus, who played for Tesh from 1997 through the fall of 2000 and was named an honorary captain for one of BSU's home games this year, says in a Facebook post that he sent to Lakeland News, quote, Tonight I feel a heartbreaking for Bemidji State, the community of Bemidji, and all those young men who have been and will not be able to be led by Jeff Tesh. I feel not an anger for the university, but a pity for they will have to live with the fact that they caused the death of the career of a man who did so much, meant so much, 
and cared so much, and we all have lost tonight. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.